But the real issue comes down to eternal security in the tribulation and the faith work system. The uh, these guys are coming out with the faith works. They think because you take you don't take the mark of work, that's a work. It's a work that shows faith, just like just like the Hebrews 11. It's a work. It's not a work that's part of your faith. In other words, gives gives you salvation. It's a work that shows you have faith. That's what that that's what not taking the mark will show. You have faith. If you take the mark of the beast, it shows you having faith. That's the, that's the crucial thing. Your faith will be shown up by what you do, because, but it shows what you believe. It isn't part of that you uh, that the work somehow added or met or, or, or blended in with um, with your uh, your faith, which is uh, can't happen. The fact is, is uh, uh, grace. It's going to be the all grace, or it's going to be all works, and faith is what goes goes with work with grace, uh, not uh, not works. So the works, not taking the mark, will show who's saved and who's not. Uh, the verse, uh, chapter 3, verse, um, verse 27. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, by the law of faith. In other words, if you deal in the law, you can boast. If you deal with faith, you can't boast. And that's why it's always salvation. Eternal salvation is always by faith alone. See, hey, this guy got Romans 10 9 10. There's no blood atonement, there's no uh, anything but Christ dying for your sins. And of course, that will send you to hell no less than uh, Acts 2 38 will. Romans 10, 13 is a cancer. <laughs> when I say Romans 10, 13 is a cancer, it's a gospel. And he says, only a servant of Satan would say that a precious verse of Holy Scripture is a cancer to the gospel. Oh, when it's not part of the gospel. When it's not part of the gospel, it's a cancer to the gospel. Because people are, are, mis are placing it in the gospel when it doesn't have, has no business being in the gospel. And the simple fact is, Christians today, but, uh, those who purport to be Christians, would rather teach a false gospel and go to Romans 10, where no one uh, can get saved by a prayer, than preach the true gospel, which is Romans 3, and get a man saved. And uh, that's the reality of it. Prayer saves no one. Prayer is not part of the gospel. And yet people uh, who, who claim to be soul winners will cling to this uh, like it's a, uh, you know, uh, they, they were drowning men and they got to hang on to it and fight for it. That expression, come, uh, who has come in, uh, in, 
uh, is, is archaic. Is come, that's what I meant, is come. And I'll give you uh, some a bunch of other verses that uh, uh, that show that. We would say has come or, or shall come sometimes, but has come is the usual way we say it now. So basically it's just an archaic way of saying has come. Unless you cease and desist immediately. Oh, I'm not ceasing and desisting. You take whatever action you want. You put another video up against the Trinity, and I will be uh, dealing with it. Get a life. Go and preach what you want to preach, and leave my ministry alone. Oh no. I am not leaving your ministry alone. Your ministry is nothing but a heretical, lying fraud. I am not leaving your ministry alone. You came back here on YouTube preaching lie after lie after lie. I'm not leaving your ministry alone. You keep putting up videos. I'm going to keep uh, keep exposing you. 